G'day! In today's video, I'm going to be changing the hard drive in this ASUS X507U into a, from a one terabyte SS, oh, SATA hard drive to a WD Blue SSD. So for the model number, we have a bit of a look on here. We can get you a bit of light and a little bit of focus. There you guys go. So to begin with, I'm going to start by taking out all the various screws that are here. Now, I do believe these are going to be of varying lengths. Yeah. Even those two are different. Different again. I made it a different screw holder for this one. If you look at the fact that we're definitely in different screws out of here. Front, short screw, great, these ones look to be of similar length, and I've since lost the pattern that I'm taking these screws out on, so putting it back together is going to be fun. These ones I will just put separately. Okay, and this needs to come out. Now I don't believe that there is any hidden screws underneath the feet or anything like that on this particular model. Also, if you wanted to upgrade your RAM, you're able to do it just here. Two tabs. Two tabs, push down, two tabs, we're out. This pulls out, it goes in on a 45 degree angle and pull down. So in, push down, and there we go. Now next up is trying to figure out how this separates. So it does look like it's just two halves. So hopefully I can just use a pry tool to get in the gap. Nothing there. No. Get a metal pry tool into the mix. There we go. Now we're getting reaction. Open that screen back up. Now I can just go proceed and use my soft pry tool. There we go. Now in this particular model, it's a keyboard that separates away, not the back half. We will need to disconnect this one. So I'm just going to use a pair of tweezers to do that. No, actually I'm not. Can't find them. Flick that up, pull that out. Flick this one up by nail. No, maybe not. There we go. Pull down, fold down, and we're away. So from here, we can see what we can upgrade. It's the minute we have a very, enough, very raw battery over here. We have one terabyte hard drive here. We have a replaceable fan here, and we have a replaceable Wi-Fi card over here. So all up, there's not too much in the way of upgradability here. 
Now for me to get to this hard drive, I'm going to have to undo this tab, pull this back, lift that up. Then there's one screw over here to undo. Pull this back. Oh no, my mistake. Two more screws here and here. And over here too. Pull this back. There we go. And now we have access to our drive. So what I typically do from here is line up and get my drive in the right orientation as the old one. Like that. And then I proceeded to undo the screws. Now there is plastic shielding on here, so I'm just going to drop the screws under here for now. If you were wanting to go an extra step and replace the thermal paste, that would be a tad more difficult on this machine, as you will need to remove the main board from there. For now, I just do this, pull out and swap. I've avoided any possible confusion. So we did have a Seagate one terabyte in there. We do not now. Now it's a matter of reversing everything that we just did. So I reckon with the this one's got an i7, uh, i7 or i5, I can't quite recall. The 85, 8250U, which is a quad core, quad core i5 from the eighth generation. And that with an SSD and eight gig of RAM should produce a fairly responsive computer. So if all you want to do is internet access, this is gonna be pretty darn decent which is the exact reason why it's getting this SSD upgrade, as SATA drives should no longer be the go. My mistake, that needs to go under here. Flex connector lifts up, pull it back. There we go. Other screw in. Move that drive away, connect up connector, once more, slides under the pins. Under the pins, push down. And now we've got to reconnect these two connectors right here. Keyboard and I believe trackpad. Yes, keyboard and trackpad. So I fold it down. Lift it up, lean this forward, and I'll probably go to the keyboard first. You want to slide that under the connector. Like so. Under, pull tab down, and we're good. Now the more challenging one, trackpad. If you're entered with a pair of tweezers, it does make it a bit easier. And also when you're not trying not to show what you're doing on camera, Makes it a little bit easier too. There we go. In and leave the over. Good. Now for 
there, push. And just be able to click most of it together. There we go. Fold it down. As you see, I've got a couple of broken tabs on here. So from here, now it's the guesswork of putting these screws back in. These two are going to be the easiest two of the bunch. Once you've upgraded the drive now, what you're going to have to do is either reinstall Windows 10 off your USB or off the recovery disks. Now, big fat screws, the notably, or big thick screws, and noticeably thicker than the rest, are for your hinges. They go in the back, left and right corners. That was a medium length screw. Over here, a long screw. Another thin long screw, I'd say, would probably go here or here. Uh, drop it in there, no. Drop it in there. Yep. There we go. Now another medium, or slightly smaller than the ones at the front. There we go. Now we're making traction. And finally, the last four go across the front. So as I was saying, if you have replaced your hard drive just like I've done here, then from there you're gonna either have to use a Windows 10 reinstall USB, which you can, if you Google Windows 10 creation tool, you'll be able to make that on a working computer. Otherwise you may be attempting to ghost it from the old hard drive to the new hard drive, but that would require certain software or particular software that you'd probably have to pay for. So I'd say a fresh install off the Windows 10 would be the way to go as I'm gonna do now. So that's how to replace the SSD or replace to an SSD in your Zeus X507U. Hope that helps you and see you later.